I, I've been blessed to do this study every week. So, you know, every week we put up a, a new part of the study. Once a week's not enough. Going to, quote unquote, going to church once a week is not enough. You have to meditate in, in the Word day and night. That's what it says. If you want to be, quote unquote, successful as a Christian, you need to be meditating in, in the Word day and night. Go read Psalm 1. Go, go read. Read the Word. Abide in the Word. Because it will stir that faith up in you. I said this from the beginning, and I know this upsets people. What kind of Christian ought you to be? Let's see. I mean, really, what should you be? Should you be a Baptist? A Lutheran? Look at the Catholics. They're trying to get together with Lutherans again. Oh, my goodness. That's a, that's a sign of the times. Are you supposed to be an evangelical Christian? Are you supposed to be a charismatic or Pentecostal Christian? What are you supposed to be? Well, you should be excited, for one thing. And you should be a Christian who is abiding in the Word. God is doing a work in the lives of His people. Now, not everybody, you know, it says this in the Word, not everybody, not, not everybody that calls himself a Jew is a Jew, but those who have been circumcised in the heart, all right? Everybody that calls himself a Christian is not a Christian. Because being this Christian is a call to be a fanatic. Amen. Yes. A fanatic. An excited fanatic. Oh no. Those fanatics are bad people. That's that's Satan's counterfeit to destroy. A fanatic is somebody who is wholly focused on the Lord God Almighty. Amen. Fixing their eyes on Jesus Christ. Not just once in a while. Fixing his eyes on Jesus Christ. The author and the perfecter, the finisher of our faith. Fanaticism is God's purpose in our life. Just because the devil has made a poor and evil imitation of it doesn't mean that we should toss it out. Is not the highest command? Did not Jesus say this? Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with some of your heart, part of your heart, a little of your heart, a lot of your heart. No, with all. With all. Well, that's pretty fanatical. If you are not a fanatic Christian, pray and ask God to forgive you. Ask him to stir up. You know, Paul wrote to Timothy and said, kindle afresh that gift. Maybe you need to have that fire that God put into you when you, were first, when you first received him and accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Maybe you need to have that fire stirred up once again. Well, I think we all do. Because like any fire, you know, Leave it alone, and it, 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 it'll burn out by itself. You have to keep feeding it fuel. Yes. You have to stir it up. You have to stoke it. Okay? Let the Word of God richly dwell within you, the Spirit richly dwell in you. And yes, there are things that you can do to do this. Paul wrote to the Thessalonians, and he said, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all things, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Then don't quench the Spirit. Quench it is to put that fire out. We need to get more serious about our relationship with the Lord and not be ashamed of it. I said that in our quest to search for Christianity, the Sermon on the Mount became the focus, the point, and we examined this. And we've been studying about judgment, examining what's going on inside the church. And we are supposed to be doing that. If you don't believe me, go back and see the ones we did on judgment here recently. The whole Bible, the whole Word of God, you have to believe it all. Will Jesus find faith? Will he find people who, are, who have, their lives are based on what they have heard from God and they're action is based on what they're doing because they've heard what he has said to us. This is serious stuff. I, I keep saying this. This is life and death. This is no, this is no little matter. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have Decided to follow Jesus. No 
turning back No turning back Go none, go in 